Okay, guys, we are at the bank, and check this thing out, man. We've got ourselves a 312-ounce bar of gold. Look at the size of that compared to this, this one, which is 152, so almost twice twice the size. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so this 312-ounce bar of gold is almost 20 pounds. Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are uh, finishing digging out our um, little section here that still has some pretty good gold, and then we're going to start uh, breaking on through to the back 40 and getting to the, the really good dirt. Uh, so, yeah, I uh, thought I'd just bring you back at this point and, and uh, you know, show you this last bit of breaking through over here uh, I've been playing a lot of farming simulator 22 and just really really enjoyed myself playing that game but um, you know so I know the gold rush episodes have kind of slowed down a little bit but I, I fully intend to can keep this series going too I'm still very much enjoying this game uh, just you know not a whole lot of time and and that sort of thing uh, but we will keep it going for now and, um, you know, keep uh, having fun in this game in case you were curious as to why things were slowing down just a little bit. Okay, so let's bring this down here a little bit more and scoop it up. And keep filling that guy. And we're going to have to, I can't really pull forward anymore from here or, you know, the back end of the, of the excavator there hits the hits the thing oh speaking of, you know, I want to bring something up real quick I'm just gonna get up on the soapbox just for a second here I, w I was left a comment by a viewer who I hadn't really seen before in the channel and that individual was very upset apparently unless he was just kidding I couldn't really tell that I was calling the excavator a backhoe <laughs> it's like and I'm like oh dude it's not that big a deal just relax okay I'm going to occasionally refer to this as a backhoe. I'm not doing it on purpose. I know it's an excavator, but I'm just used to calling these types of machines backhoes, and sometimes it's going to happen, and you know what? If that bothers you, you need to relax. It's not that big a deal. I know it's an excavator, and so, yeah. That's all I'm going to say about it. I will occasionally call it a backhoe. Get used to it. Okay, enough of <laughs> said about that i'm just it's like one of those things like really seriously that's all you have to complain about you know uh so anyway um yeah i i kind of got a bit of a chuckle out of it and i was kind of also irritated about it at the same time it's like anyway whatever okay so yeah i'm gonna keep digging out this dirt here uh so let's see we're at up to 222 ounces of gold it is almost 3 p.m in the afternoon in the game so yeah, I'm just going to keep taking this out. I'll bring you guys back at some point with an update and we'll continue th uh, continue from there. But it is definitely my intention for us to start breaking through into the back 40 um, at some point later on in this episode. All right, so see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, I'm back with an update. We are pretty much finished digging the top part of this last little section here. So we're going to take the excavator up the ramp. And I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Well, actually, what I'm going to do next is use the front loader to dig out the lower part of that dirt. So that's actually what's happening next. But I'll show you what I'm going to do next with the excavator after we get that part done. And uh, see, we are also 69% full uh, towards the next clean out. And I'm expecting a pretty decent clean out because most of the dirt that we're going to have in it's going to be, you know, from this fairly hot section. But we have this little kind of protrusion here to the left of me. And the first, the first block of that is not very good, but right behind it is actually a really, uh, really good block. Let's take a look at that. So, um, so this one, this one is not even registering, but the one right behind it is um you know pretty rich there so we're going to toggle that square but just you know to get at it uh, we could even uh, pull a little bit maybe from that side too uh, but to get at it 
we we might as well just move this dirt too. I mean, it says there's zero ounces of dirt. Is that really true? Could there be like no gold whatsoever? It's not. It's like it's not registering though. Maybe I didn't. Oh, you know what? Maybe I didn't drill this one. Drill number two. This would seem to indicate that we did drill it. I don't know. I I find it hard to believe that there's absolutely no gold whatsoever in that, especially since the one right next to it's hot. So maybe what I'll do is when we get to that point and we start digging this out, I'll just pay attention to see if it's actually producing gold. Now, if it turns out that it really, in fact, isn't, then we'll just dig all the dirt and move it out of the way and not, not process it. So let's get the excavator moved up our little ramp here uh, and get it in position. And then we're going to keep digging with the front loader to get the rest of that lower section done. Man, it is always so dark in this game. I think part of that has to do with, you know, the time of year. It's three days to winter, so. This ramp's working out pretty good, man. Just would have been nice if we could have gotten the whole entire thing nice and a nice smooth grade like this, but that's all right. We got it functional, and that's the main thing. Okay, things are getting a bit narrow here. <laughs> uh probably don't want to go any further than that so what we could do is park the dump truck to the right off to the right to get the top you know this first top part uh, but like I said we are not doing that right now so let's turn that off and take this next load up and then I think we're ready to run the wash plant again or maybe I have one more dump truck load I can't remember we'll see when we get up there Okay, so I got the D rocker is full, and looks like the conveyor. Whoop! Uh, looks like the conveyor is full too. So yeah, we're ready to to run our next um, batch of dirt through. So let's hop out of here real quick and turn the water on. I'm almost to 100,000 gallons in the in the tank there. <laughs> I still find it very hard to believe that that thing can hold a million gallons. That just doesn't seem realistic, but what do I know? Okay, nice. We'll get that going. And we'll get this in place and ready to drop off. Now, I think by the time we move all of this dirt through, it, we'll be ready for a clean out. So probably what I'll do is do the clean out and bring you guys back at the very end to see how much we have because we have 222.2 ounces of gold right now so yeah I'll let me get this dirt run through let me get the cleanup done and then I'll bring you back at that point to see where we're at uh, with our gold all right guys so our final tally on uh, this clean out is 295. So that means we pulled seven, uh, wait, sit. Yeah. We pulled 75 ounces out of that. Cause we were at 220. We were at 222. Now we're at 295. So we pulled 73. Yeah. 73 ounces. Wow. That was, that's probably the biggest clean out I've had yet. Just all from that dirt up there. Nice. So this lower dirt is probably going to be pretty good too. Then I, I, I suspect. Um, but nice, man. Look at that. That was a huge clean out. Love it. Okay. I'm going to get everything set back up and get, hop in the front loader and start clearing that out. And again, I'll probably, I'll bring you back. Probably won't bring you back until the next into the next clean out to see where we are from there. We're also at 76% on our magnetite, which is great. Once that bucket fills up, we, we might go back into town and, um, you know, see if we have enough to get the next upgrade. I'm debating whether or not I should get the larger ingot upgrade or the the cost, you know, um, the fee, you know, reduce the fee upgrade. I'm not sure if both of those things ultimately come out the same in the wash or 
if one is you know better than the other. I mean, we're going to get them both eventually anyway, so I guess in the long run it's not that big of a deal, but obviously we want to get the, the best one first. So, yeah, okay, I'll bring you guys back uh, at the end of our next clean-out, and we'll see where we are from there. All right, guys, I'm back with an update. We are just about finished clearing out the gold from down below with the front loader. And uh, we'll be ready to run another clean out here as soon as I fill this dump truck up and see where we are. There's a little bit uh, of pretty hot dirt up that way too. In fact, let's, uh, let's grab that first. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt to get with the loader because it flips way up in the air. But if I can kind of do this a little bit, I can sort of kind of get at it. <laughs> uh, this is very valuable dirt, as you can see, with the dark yellow. So I'm going to grab it. I, I guess I could grab that with the front loader, actually, from up above later. So let's just see if we can get a bucket load here. Uh, there we go. Okay. And then uh, we'll just grab the rest of this other dirt down here, and we should be good to go. I'm expecting this clean-out to be pretty good, too. So we got, what, 73 ounces on the last one? This one should be... I'm expecting this one to be at least as good as that. Let's, let's hope so, anyway. So a couple more loads and then we should be good. Let's grab this little bit down here. Just kind of cleaning it all up here. And one more full bucket should do it. Actually, don't even need that much. Let's grab this little corner piece right here. Okay, and then scoop up that. Okay, just one couple little tips there. There we go. bring this up to the wash plant. I have a, a full D-rocker and a full conveyor bin. So we'll run that through and then run this. Yeah, so I've been basically doing three dump truck loads per batch. And uh, we're moving the dirt through pretty quick doing that. And it's just going to get better, you know, as we upgrade to even higher tier stuff so we're we're about two-thirds of the way to be fully uh, being fully upgraded to tier four we just have to put two planters in which is hopefully we'll have enough money we need about 500 grand uh, to get both of those and i think you know with this gold after this clean out maybe one more we'll probably have enough to do that in fact i haven't checked the prices recently let's go look at those while we're waiting on all that Um, no, that's not what I want. I want uh, stock. Okay, so it's a 12.15. It looks like it's starting to go up a little bit too. Okay, that's good. That's good. I don't know if I've showed you guys my workers. I think I have. So we have hired seven hired workers. I've got like three mechanics, uh, which, you know, in the long run, that's a good thing. But I'd rather have more workers that I can put on the on the wash plant, uh, but I only have like two or three of those guys at, at present. What's this guy? Yeah, he's a, uh, he's working. What does that mean? Somebody was telling me I need to upgrade these guys, but I was saying, well, I can't because I think they have to get to the next level before I can upgrade them. Does that mean he can be assigned to a no 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 that that's not what that means that's just the one i've assigned him to yeah right okay we're good 
Um, yeah, so this is my most recent guy. He is assigned to the dump truck. He gives me 2.86% movement speed at level one, big whoopee. <laughs> Uh, but you know, as he gets to level two and then level three, he, he will of course become more useful. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much where we are guys with our wash plant. Uh, I'm sorry with our, well, yeah, with our wash plant, but with our workers in particular. Okay. So we are at 75% and that's at 78 going down. So we'll definitely be ready for our next clean out before all of this dirt moves through. The D rocker's cool, man. It looks it looks very uh They did a good job of making it look like the real D rocker too, the one you know on the Gold Rush show. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, well, I'll bring you guys back when we oh, let's not get hit by boulders. <laughs> <laughs> Not that that would actually hurt us in the game. It would in real life. Um, anyway, yeah, I'll bring you guys back when we are right at the end of this next cleanout. We'll see how much gold we have, and then we'll go from there. Okay, guys, we are now at 358 ounces of gold. We started off at 393. So that's 62 ounces, I believe, right? Yeah, because it was if it was three ninety eight. No, if it was if it was three ninety eight, it would be sixty eight. So add five, so seventy three, seventy three ounces. Isn't that what we pulled last time? Wow, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Two cleanouts, both at seventy three ounces. Okay, that's uh that's pretty good. Now um let's see here. We are at ninety two percent on the the magnetite, so that's not quite full yet. I think what I want to do is one more clean out before we go to town and uh, and cash in here. Uh, because what I want to do when we come back is bring a couple of planters with us. That's, that's kind of what I'm hoping to do here. So, yeah, let me go ahead and get another batch running through the system and i'll bring you back at the end of that clean out what time is it oh yeah we got lots of time in this day uh, i'll bring you back at the end of that clean out and we will uh see where we're at at that point hopefully the price will go up a little bit more too in the interim and maybe we'll have enough to get those those two planters uh if we don't we could still at least get one planter, you know, so there's, so there's that too. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, I'll bring you back in a little bit. All right, guys, we are up to 418.1 ounces after that last uh, clean out. As you can see, uh, I've cut away all of that uh, little island of dirt, I guess you'd call it there. And, um... We're just kind of right on the tail end of cleaning the rest of this stuff out here because it's in pretty good shape. And it looks like I should probably back my excavator up. Oh, my goodness. Yowzers. Okay, yeah, we'll do that in a second. I'm just uh, putting their final miner's mosses in place. Um, and I can't check the prices right now because guess what? We have a thunderstorm. I know that's hard to believe, but it's true. There's a thunderstorm. Oh, man. Uh, so, yeah, that means we're going to have to drive into town to check everything, and let's see, uh, the prices, uh, we're at twelve fifteen last time I checked, which was, I don't know, hour, hour and a half ago in-game, um, so, yeah, um, just trying to decide if I want to go do that now or if I want to do one more clean out um let's see we got a full bin there yeah you know what guys I think I'm gonna do one more clean out and then we'll go into town if if it's still thundering at that point then we'll go into town and check the prices okay so I'll see you <laughs> I'll see you back here after the next clean out all right, guys, I'm bringing you back because we are starting our very first cut into the back 40. Uh, so as you can see over there on uh, off to the right there, I have uh, cleared out all of that 
dirt down there and we are we're like at 91 percent on the wash plant so we just need a little bit more but i'm getting my three uh loads so but this is kind of a a red letter moment here if you would if you will if you would if you will <laughs> so i wanted to share this moment with you cutting into the back 40 now if we can hit the 500,000 mark on our sale of this next uh you know next run to town and i just looked at the gold prices just a little bit ago and they are at 1217 so they're about as high as they've be, they've been and hopefully that'll stay that way then um we can get the planters and then that means everything we do on the back 40 will be a full tier four and then maybe even eventually a tier five if we get that far while we still remain on old arnold so yeah pretty cool man i'm uh, i'm excited this is fun i've sure been enjoying this game absolutely been enjoying it so we'll get this dump truck filled up here and then go do our next clean out oh i got a full bucket of uh, magnetite too so we got that going on now this first block of dirt that i'm doing here is is not good um it's, it's not gold rich dirt but we got to get it out of the way so that we can because the block that i'm that the excavator's sitting on and right just directly behind me there's some really good gold dirt there so we're just going to kind of you know um dig ourselves a pathway through and, and we might as well process the dirt even if it's not that good of dirt because why not right we're not in a hurry we're not doing leaderboard so we might as well just do it all Okay, we are at 98. Let's do another scoop here. And just a couple of pieces out to get that to 100. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's just leave this here. into the dump truck I already have a full um, full D rocker and a full conveyor uh, hopper so we've got our third load We'll only have to run this for just a little bit to, to get everything to 100%. Our water tank is now up to almost 125,000. And let's start her up. Okay, we are at 100%. Turn that off. Turn the washer machines on. Head over here and pull you out. Put you in and pull you out. Okay. Let's uh let's do this wash out or clean out rather. And see what we get. Uh, most of this dirt should be pretty good dirt. Uh, but there was, you know, there, there has been a little bit of not so good dirt mixed in with it. So, I don't know. We'll probably get, I'm guessing about a 50 ounce clean out on this, we'll say. And we're at 418. So, let's see how we do here. Okay. Double check. Looks like we got everything. Okay. 
Okay, let's grab our duplex jig buckets next. Okay, we got 15 ounces of gold from the upper uh, sluice box. Not too bad. Okay, we got just a little under 12 ounces of gold from the duplex jig. Well, after we process this bucket, that is. Because each one was just a tad under 4 ounces. No, that's... No, that's 16. Yeah, almost 16 ounces. That's actually pretty good from the duplex jigs. So I think this is going to be a good cleanout. Okay, this is the big bucket. Let's see where we're going to get out of this thing. Already has us up to 20 magnetite, which is great. Okay, here we go. 2695. Okay. That gets us up to 476. We started with 418. Um, so that means we got 52. No, 48. Right? Or 58. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 47. My brain's not working right now. What is 476 minus 418? 58. Ooh, okay. Wow, that was a good cleanout then, man. That was a really good cleanout. Okay, cool. All right, so that gets us up to 476 ounces. Let's get uh, this put back together. And we are going to run into town and sell our gold and see where we're sitting. Let's take a look at the price again. Twelve seventeen thirty nine. Yeah, it's it's good. Not as high as it's been, but it's close enough. We'll take it. Okay, let's drop off our magnetite. And let's see, we currently have 2156. And now we have 7614. I don't remember how much we need for those upgrades, so we'll just check when we get to the blacksmith. Okay, we're at the blacksmith, and we got the massive leg bug again, or whatever the heck causes that. Oh, actually, hold on. Before we do this, let's go to upgrade. All right, so the this upgrade is 88.18. Hmm. We have... We have, like... I don't know, 20% more magnetite? I wonder if that would get us another 1,200 and change. It'd be really close, wouldn't it? Um, what is the, what is the price one? Oh, excuse me. Oh, we have to, we haven't done this one yet. Okay. I'll tell you what. I'm going to go back to... I'm going to go back and get the other magnetite we have, dump it in the thing, and see if that gets us to 88.19. And if it does, we're going to take this. If it doesn't, 
then we'll take the cost one. Okay, so I'll, I'll meet you guys back here. Okay, let's dump this bucket in here and see what happens. It's going to be close, I think. So we need 88, 88 something. Okay, that, oh man, <laughs> got us to 88.27. I think that's enough. I can't remember exactly what, I think that's enough. I think that's just barely enough. All right, let's go back and find out. All right, guys, we're back. I ended up uh, actually having to restart the game because the stuttering thing was just getting nuts. Uh, okay, so let's go to upgrade and 88.18, 88.27. We just barely have enough to do this upgrade. Awesome. All right. So that means we're going to get the maximum size of ingot uh, each time we do this. Now, the next question is, um, can I afford this with 30000 Dollars. Let's see. Yep, we can. It's going to cost us about half of that to do a 320 ounce ingot. Wow. All right. That's huge. Okay. Let's let the dude do the thing. And then when he's done, we're going to go cash this in. Oh, actually, hold on. No, we still have another 156.4 ounces to do too. So, all right. When I get both of these bars ready, I'll meet you guys at the bank and we'll cash them in and see how much money we get. This is exciting. I love it. Okay, guys, we are at the bank, and check this thing out, man. We've got ourselves a 312-ounce bar of gold. Look at the size of that compared to this, this one, which is 152, so almost twice, twice the size. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so this 312-ounce bar of gold is almost 20 pounds. Oh, man, that is so neat. Okay, let's sell them. Let's see what we get. Uh, so the price... Oh, crap, the price dropped back down. Doggone it, you stupid game. Oh, well, it is what it is. Uh, okay, so let's sell that and that and that. There we go. And that gets us up to $571,000, which is enough for us to buy the two planters. Oh, man, this is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to end this episode because we're out of time. So in the next episode, I'm going to purchase the two planters. Let's just go look at them real quick. And we'll get those set up, and then we'll be a full uh, Tier 4 operation. So the planter is this this thing? Yeah. This thing right here. So this is basically the tier four version of the duplex jig, which is tier three. And um, then then we'll be, like I said, we'll be a full tier four operation. And we're cutting into the back 40 now. So we will, um, you know, be getting to the good gold. And yeah, I'm excited, man. We're going to, we're, we're going to, it's just going to get better and better. Uh, and eventually, you know, we'll get up to the tier five stuff too. But um, I'm not sure if we'll get to the Tier 5 stuff while we're still in Old Arnold. It just depends about how much money we pull in, but we'll be a, a full Tier 4 operation. And the timing's pretty good because, again, we're getting to the back 40 where the best gold is, and at that you know at that same moment or same time, we're also upgraded to a full Tier 4. So I'm pretty excited. So, yeah, we're going to buy a couple of these. Um, both of those together. In fact, here, let's buy them right now before we end the episode. Oh, I guess we have to do that back here. Okay, so, yeah, let's get two of those. That's going to cost us $493,272, and that still will leave us uh, around $80,000 left after that. The only expenses we have uh, going out are uh, $77,900. Okay, uh, the only expenses we have going out are we did rent the dozer uh, earlier in this in-game day, so we have the rental for that, and then we have to pay our workers, which is, I don't know, four or five thousand dollars, I think, something like that. So, uh, but we're not paying any fees, man. So that's a good thing. All right, let's go ahead and transport both of the planters over to our place. We'll be able to sell the two duplex jigs, which will also get us a little bit of money back. And there we go, it's done. Oh man, I'm excited. All right, guys. So yeah, in the next episode, we will put the planters in place. And then cut into the back 40 and start 
Start making even more gold than we've made so far. Very excited for that. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. Wah! <laughs> and we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.